I'm Matthew. I'm a pharmacist and also on the research and development team here at Amgen. We're going to talk about common signs and symptoms that may suggest your asthma is not controlled and also how you can manage it effectively. And remember, symptoms can vary over time as well as intensity. So as we think about these symptoms, a helpful guide to assess your asthma control is the rules of two. So some examples to ask yourself from this tool include the following and, and be on the lookout for and listen for those twos, if you will. First, are you using your rescue or quick reliever inhaler more than twice a week? Second, are you refilling your rescue or quick reliever inhaler more than twice a year? Third, are you waking up at night with asthma symptoms more than twice a month? And then finally, are you using oral steroids like prednisones more than twice a year? If you answered yes to any of these, your asthma may not be well controlled. Make an appointment with your provider to discuss these symptoms. Now, keeping an asthma journal can also help track your symptoms, changes in lung function, as well as identify patterns. And within the asthma journal, you can write down your daily symptoms, impact because of these symptoms, like missed work or school, medication use, as well as any potential triggers. And this information is extremely valuable for you as well as your healthcare provider to help develop and adjust your treatment as well as asthma action plan. And remember, controlling your asthma is possible with the right knowledge and tools. Use an asthma journal, make an asthma action plan, and stay in regular contact with your healthcare provider. Click the link in the bio to start your asthma journal. And thank you for listening to our tips from the Luma program, which provides free education about severe asthma for patients and caregivers.